Many New Mexico residents and visitors know the land of enchantment as a place of deserts, canyons, mountains, and forests. It is often a surprise for some people that one area of New Mexico also has miles of pristine sandy beaches with some amazing bird life. Welcome to Long Point. Long Point is situated at New Mexico's largest body of water, Elephant Butte Lake. This man-made lake is located along the Rio Grande, just east of Interstate 25 between Albuquerque to the north and Las Cruces to the south. Long Point is a spit of land that protrudes about two-thirds of the way into Elephant Butte Lake. The Butte, as it is known locally, is located along what is referred to as a central flyway for migratory birds. To visit Long Point, a New Mexico State Park Pass is required. Day use or camping fees can be paid by cash or check at the self-pay station located at the entrance to Long Point. Current day use is $5 per vehicle and primitive camping is $8 per night, which includes the $5 day use fee. These fees are expected to increase sometime in 2024. All trash must be hauled out to the dumpsters located behind the pay station. Visitors are reminded that no glass is allowed, keep pets on leash, and to please keep our beaches clean. Although the gravel road leading to Long Point can at times get corrugated, which may feel like you are driving on washboard, it can be driven by a regular passenger vehicle. If venturing off the main entrance road, then a four-wheel drive vehicle is absolute must. As with all New Mexico state parks, ATVs are not allowed. The pristine beaches of Long Point are devoid of high-rise hotels, apartments, and palm trees. If you are looking for peace and solitude, then we highly recommend you time your visit on a weekday. During summer weekends, many visitors from Albuquerque, Las Cruces, and El Paso flock to Elephant Butte Lake for the weekend of fun. As many as 100,000 people have been known to visit the lake on a summer holiday weekend. The peak times to see migratory shorebirds here are during spring when they are migrating to their breeding grounds in the far north, and during fall migration, when many of them head to their wintering grounds as far south as South America. With its large sized and extremely long decurred bill, the long billed curlew is unmistakable. It is an uncommon spring and fall migrant to the area. The Wimbrel is a smaller version of the similar looking long billed curlew. The main differences are the much shorter bill and the dark stripes on the head. The Wimbrel is a rare migrant, and these birds were the first ever sighting for Long Point.
Another large brownish shorebird, the marbled godwit, is a fairly common migrant at Long Point and can often be seen in groups of several birds. Instead of having a long decurred bill, the godwit has a mainly straighter bicolored bill. With its distinct recurved bill and rusty head and neck, the American avocet is a fairly common migrant. With its white unmarked underparts, the Sanderling is our palest sandpiper. Usually one or two birds can be found here in spring and fall. This individual appeared to have an injured foot and could not put any weight on it. The Dunlin is a medium-sized shore bird with a fairly long bill that is slightly decurved at the tip. It is a rare fall migrant. The Lee Sandpiper is our smallest and most numerous shorebird migrant. Its small size and yellowish legs are helpful in identifying the species. The Bayard Sandpiper is an uncommon spring and fall migrant. During one of our visits, we encountered four white rump sandpipers that were most likely displaced by an afternoon thunderstorm. This long distance migrant winters in southern South America and breeds in the northern tundra of Canada and Alaska. These birds typically migrate further to the east of New Mexico and this sighting represents the first record for Long Point. Known in Europe as the gray plover, this unmistakable black-bellied plover is in full breeding plumage. This large plover is a very uncommon migrant to the area. Other plovers that we have seen here include the semi-palmated plover, the slightly smaller and paler snowy plover, and of course, the much more widespread and common killdeer. Although most of the gulls found here will be ring-billed gulls, it is worth searching through the flocks for the much less numerous Franklin's gull and the slightly smaller Bonaparte's gull. Long Point is one of the most reliable locations in New Mexico to see the world's largest tern, the Caspian tern, which is easily recognized by its brilliant red bill. Although a rare migrant, one or two birds may be seen from mid-April through June. Other terns that we have seen here include this rare least tern, Black tern, and Forester's tern. Long Point has several pristine beaches that are worth the visit. However, if you come here for a few hours or camp for several days, please haul your trash to the dumpsters located behind the entrance pay station. Trash left on the beach by careless campers is not only ugly, 
It is also a public health hazard and a serious threat to birds and other wildlife. This ring-billed gull had a fishing hook attached to a lure embedded in its eye. Unfortunately, the gull was still capable of flight and evaded capture for much-needed treatment. This ring-billed gull was found offshore, flapping its wings with its head submerged underwater. With the rapid response of several concerned birders, a rescue plan was put into place to save the drowning bird. With no boat available, an air mattress was quickly inflated and a shovel was used as a paddle to reach the distressed bird. Being careful not to cause more harm to the bird, one end of the double-ended fishing hook was delicately removed from the beak and the other end from a foot. Fortunately, after several hours of recuperation, the gull was successfully released back into the wild. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss our next Advent Nature.